Right folks, I'm on the Coleridge Walk. Believe it or not, I'm following the feather when it turns up. Uh, if not, there's yellow painted posts. Even if it's only a hint of one, it shows you you're on the route. So I've walked up and down there. I've just spotted a campsite and a village, so we're getting somewhere. Yeah, a campsite down there, look. All in neat little rows. Any single tenters? No, no single tenters. That looks like a village to me. Down there. See if you can see a church. Not sure. Churches aren't always obvious, actually. I might not have one. This is quite a pleasant route, isn't it? <sighs> this is God's country. So somebody said, and did those feet in ancient time walk upon England's mountain green? Now they say that song might have been inspired by Joseph of Arimathea walking in the southwest countryside. Now which way? This is very it's difficult to know, isn't it? Either go on, go on. Don't divert. Only go down when it's necessary. Yo pole. Yellow pole. I mean, if you want to go down to the village, you could. But I expect there's another way down in a minute. We might not have to go down there at all. We don't even know what it's called. See them being there, ten campers, being inspired by us walkers up here. One day I do want to go up and walk up in those hills over there. I've done more than I thought I'd do. I'm quite pleased with what I've done, really. So if you went down there, we'd get messy, couldn't it? Fields and stuff and roads. Right there. Probably have. Horseflies. Little camper fan coming in, look, checking in. That was me once. Yeah. That was me. The thing is, now I'm getting older, and I'm going to taste of a nice hotel bed. It's worth saving up just to do that. Isn't it? I only used to go away. About twice a year I was going away in Alberta. If you add together the cost every month, £90, 
that didn't include petrol, didn't include MOT or any other repairs or replacements. It would work out. You know, right, you get one night, a decent night in a hotel for 80 quid. About 70 pound. And there will be cheaper ones. I quite like what I've got at the moment. And I'm glad I've got the extra night. While you're out walking, you're not spending money either. I need to get to a bank tomorrow though. I do need to go to a bank tomorrow because I need to get some money out. Pole, yellow pole, look. Yellow pole. Always a good sign when you see a yellow pole. Yeah. The little camper has found his home. Yeah. Yeah, now that I know the route to my Ned, on a bus and that, I can always get a taxi from Minehead to Port Oxy. About 14 quid. Taxi there. Put your tent up. Dead easy. You've only got to cart all your equipment then up the road to the stations and on the buses. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, assess where we're going all the time. Could be that we've got to go down in that village. I haven't got a clue what this is going to be like, folks. I'm going to turn off for a minute. A place called Brendan. Um, there it is. Now, if you want to go to the slaughterhouse in. No, Stag Hunter's in, I'm sorry to say. You go that way, following the road. But I am going across this stone bridge, back where it says to Lynmouth, and it's got the feather sign. You can go to Orr from here. There's another way to Orr you can go, which is something I'll probably explore when I go and stay. At all. So this is the River Lynn that's going to go crashing down to Lynmouth. This is the same River Lynn that killed people in 1952 when it overran. It's, the water from the hills just went berserk. Lovely flowers as well, look. This is England. Look at that lovely house. You can go to Porlock this way apparently. <laughs> Brendan and Orr that way. We'll go this way. It's a lovely house. Lovely location. Coleridge's feather. There we go. This way. I'm walking in the footsteps of the poets. Coleridge and Wordsworth. And Wordsworth's sister, Dorothy. I don't know if she actually done this. The whole of my walks over here, I've had lots of foxgloves greeting me. Look out for features on route. That looks like another little old stone bridge. Look at that. Look at that. Now you see, in, people in cars miss the sort of thing. Look at this old stone bridge, everyone. There, look. Private, it says. Isn't it lovely, though? Isn't it lovely? I'm going to take a picture. I'm going to stop, folks. Just going to stop a minute. Just go back. 
take a picture of that stone bridge. This is going back in time, this is. This would have been here when Wordsworth was here.